We would now like to welcome on stage Mrs. Suzanne Yan, the director of the Fondation Jean Scientifique, for her opening speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Minister, distinguished guests, dear participants, I pay tribute, Minister Bertin, for your presence among us today. I'm pleased to join Carlo in welcoming you all to this award ceremony of the 53rd edition of the National Young Fosher Competition. After two intense days of, of competition, I can truly say that I am deeply moved by all the projects presented. Each one is a testament to our young scientists, creativity, innovation, and your passion. Dear young scientists, your enthusiasm and determination have been reflected in every project you've undertaken. And, of course, you should be proud of yourself. A big round of applause for, for them. Your reward will come in a few minutes, but before, I want to remind you that this award ceremony is not just the end of the, this adventure, but just the starting point to a beautiful adventure. This evening, every participant is a winner. No matter the scientific level, age, language, we have worked hard to ensure that each project will be rewarded by sending you all of them to the next step that will allow them to go further with their scientific endeavors. So the significance of this award goes beyond mere recognitions of financial value. They open doors to mainly international journey, a chance to travel with your scientific projects to the most prestigious competition, expo, events, summer camp here in Luxembourg, but also worldwide. You will meet with your international peers and connect with your community, and I'm truly convinced that you will come back stronger. Here are some anecdotes from 2023 results. For the first time, the Danish competition has a part of this science, uh, was open for a delegation for, for other countries. Thomas Litt and Christopher Gargillo represented the FGSL and won the second prize. Avanti Sharma returned from Portugal with her precious honorable mansion for her project which provides students with security against cyber attacks. <laughs> Max Simberg with his uh, virtual re reality application Marbles VR to the largest competition for young scientists organized in Dallas. He won the fourth prize on his category, so the software system category. <laughs> Very important steps as well. Six young forscher could uh, present their innovative projects at the Benelux Pavilion, thanks to the Ministry of Environment, at the COP28. It was actually the, a chance for them to speak up their vision in terms of, of uh, environment. So, a conference which traditionally gives the floor to a senior diplomat. So, it was also a step for them. <laughs> and more recently, more recently, at the Taiwan International Science Fair competition, the judges awarded the fourth prize in the computer science and information, uh, information engineering category to Sheshimir Izik, and the, th the third prize in the mathematic category uh, for Steve Mandelev. <laughs> and this is where the extraordinary efforts of our experts of jury are essential. They have meticulously analyzed each project in order to attribute appropriate prices to the right endeavors. So for that crucial work, our special recognition goes to Mr. Serge Quetzotti, 
Mr. Serge Katsotti, and all the jury members. Thank you warmly to all the jury members. Of course, it is also important to mention that these awards are made possible thanks to the invaluable contribution to our partners, philanthropists, uh, sponsors. Uh, yes, we have everyone. <laughs> and with Young Scientists, no project without jury members, no qualification, but without partners, philanthropists, and sponsors, no prizes. So, big warm, uh, big thank you for them. Sorry. <laughs> Like Carlo, I would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to every Fondation Jeune Scientifique Luxembourg supporters who dedicated efforts to make this event an overwhelming success. First, to the board member of the, of the FGSL for your wisdom and energy, always ready to give the best advice for the young scientists, and especially to dear Carlo and Simon Hansen. Also, a very special thanks to our volunteers who bravely step up the game and join their unwavering support for this organization. I'm deeply grateful. Thank you. <laughs> to the Ministry of Ed National Education, Children and Youth, the Luxembourg National Research Fund, and the National Erasmus Plus Agency Luxembourg for their fundamental support, which allows us to run efficiently. To my dedicated team, Daniela, Guillaume, Luisa, Federica, thank you so much for your everyday uh, support. <laughs> Not to forget the artist from the Maison de Jeunes Redange, my dear Jamila Voili, Cyprien Kaiser, and Pete Vinandi that you will discover soon, and the focus team. We thank you. <laughs> Last but not least, another aspect filled me with so much pride is the gender balance. In our competition, we've more girls than boys taking part. And to the girls involved, your presence sends a powerful message that science is open for all. And your, contrib your contribution is not only welcome, but crucial in shaping the future. To all participants, you have to remember that you are contributing to a dynamic scientific community. So ladies and gentlemen, amazing things can happen when young minds and science team up in a world of endless possibilities. So let's continue to work together to support them to make positive change for a positive future. Thank you and congratulations to all young persons.